isn't it human nature to when something happens to reach for an explanation of what happened? So there's the terrorist piece, there's the LGBT piece, sure. but are people so crazy to think that a, a weapon that, that is involved in the case and has been in other cases is not something to just seek into and inquire and find out what's going on? You're kind of making it sound like it's a conspiracy. Aren't people just trying to figure out why people should be able to have access to weapons that produce bullets so quickly and maybe we should do something to curb that? That seems like a human reaction. John, I think we look, need to look right in the face of what these people are that we're facing. They don't care about the law. Laws didn't stop them in Boston. Laws didn't stop them in San Bernardino, where you had every type of gun control that you, law you could have. And they didn't stop them in Paris, where people can't even own guns. They had fully automatic guns. They had ICDs. They had explosives. I mean, these bad guys we're facing, they don't say, oh, gosh, they passed a law. Oh, gosh, I don't think I can do it. It's like what we're doing with this debate on the Hill right now, it's like they're trying to stop a freight train with a piece of Kleenex. Wouldn't a, wouldn't a pause or a waiting period or extra scrutiny or something maybe create one more filter that might have caught a guy like Mateen? It goes the argument. The, the, the filter is take them off the street, confront them directly, attack them. That's what we've got to do. You've, you've said a good guy with a gun stops a bad guy with a gun. There was a good guy with a gun in the club, couldn't stop him. Well, what every place needs is a security plan that protects it. The fact is, we need to face what's coming. They're trying to kill us. They're not going to attack hard targets. All the hard targets are protected by the government with guns. They're going to go for vulnerabilities. They're going to go for shopping malls. They're going to go for churches. The fact is, we need vigilance. We need preparedness. We need a full court press on personal protection. Donald, we need to be able to protect ourselves. Donald Trump has suggested concealed carry in a nightclub where people are drinking. Is I don't think idea? you should have, have firearms where people are drinking. But I'll tell you this, everybody Every American starts to hit, needs to start having a, a, a security plan. We need to be able to protect ourselves because they're coming. What, and they're going to go for vulnerable spots, and this country needs to realize it. What does that mean, a security plan? Should everybody get an automatic uh, or a semi-automatic? Or should we lift the limits against automatic weapons? I, 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 I think that we're talking about the fact law-abiding people need to be able to own firearms to protect themselves. I think we need national carry reciprocity. I think every school needs a protection plan with either police officer or certified armed security. When we need to, we need to look at all our vulnerabilities and we need to hard them because they're coming and they're going to try to kill us and we need to be prepared. And this president, by diverting the attention to gun control movement, that's not going to solve the problem. They could care less. Do you think, Donald Trump mentioned somebody going in buying all sorts of ammunition. Should the amount of ammunition somebody buys get them extra scrutiny? I, you know, again, you're going to an area that doesn't matter. It doesn't make a well, difference. Well, but he's running for the nomination, so, and you've endorsed it, him, so it, 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 that, that, is he right or wrong That's not the issue. That? I mean, if we want to save lives, let's look at Chicago, okay? You got every federal gun law in the books right now. Drug dealer with a gun, 10 to 20 years. Get criminal gang member with a gun, 10 to 20 years. Felon with a gun, five to 10 years. This federal government, that Attorney General Janet Lynch, they're not enforcing any of the federal gun laws. They're letting it happen night after night after night, and they're being given cover by the elite media like the New York Times that writes a five-page story and has right. one little We're paragraph. We're going to have to end it there, Mr. LaPierre. I'm sorry. We've let's let's get the bad guys off the street, attack the, the terrorists, and leave the good guys alone.